Hey you, welcome to Wasted Audio. Today we're going to have a look at the Distro Plugin Framework and how you can turn your PD patches into a real audio plugin. If you haven't watched our introduction to Plug Data and the Heavy Compiler, you should definitely watch this video first. The Distro Plugin Framework is a minimal and liberally licensed C++ framework for creating audio plugins in various formats, including VST2, VST3, LV2, CLAP, and even a Jack standalone. There are many really cool audio plugins made using DPF, like Wolf Shaper, Master Me, Cardinal, and our very own Wasted Plugin Suite. So let's start modifying a patch to convert it into an audio plugin. So here we have the basic synth that we created in the previous episode. So let me copy this part of the patch and put it in a new one. And then instead of having a pitch CV input that we convert into a, into a pitch value, we can just use a note in object from PD so we can receive MIDI. And then to keep things simple, I'll use the strip node. So we'll just use the node on events. And that means that we don't need our uh, gate input here. And we will just use these node events to bang our gate. And of course we need to convert this into a frequency. And then we need a signal object to give to our saw wave oscillator. In order to control the plugin from the DAW, we have these special receive objects with the HV param. Now for DAISY, they had a fixed range from zero to one, and they needed to have the same name as in the hardware layout. Now in this case, we can give them a nice human readable value. So this is our filter cutoff, and we can give them a real range. So in this case is from zero to 127 and 80 something and now we no longer need this multiplication and similar for the other controls either. Let's make sure this goes to the output. And now we can try and compile it. So one thing you see here is that uh, we can configure different plugin types because certain DAWs and plugin hosts don't want to have certain MIDI configurations. So an effect doesn't have any MIDI, an instrument of course has a MIDI input. But you may want to create a custom MIDI effect or even a plugin that just generates MIDI notes. But realize that not all plugin hosts really allow this. So for now, we're just going to use an instrument. And I think a plugin format of Clap is probably fine. So let's export it. This is a little bug in plug data, but we're going to fix it soon. I have a little MIDI keyboard here and let's see, does it work? PD patch into an actual plugin instrument. Now one limitation you see of course is that we don't have a GUI. By default we're not exporting any UI code which is difficult to do cross-platform for both Windows, Mac OS and Linux but this is something we'll work on in the future and ideally we can even design our plugin UI using the plug data UI objects. So hopefully we can figure this out in the future but for now 
let's call this air window style plugins. Now in our previous patch, we also had this little drum synth. So let's see how we can convert that into a plugin that plays together with our DAW. So let me remove all the bits that we don't need. And here we can now receive MIDI real-time in events. And we will select on the clock, start and stop events. Let me explain what I did here. The first select will give our clock ticks, and the second event will give the start event, and the, the third one will be the stop event. And the start and the stop will open our spigot. So when we start the MIDI clock, we will start receiving the clock ticks using uh, the spigot, and then when we stop it, it will close it, so, so that if we receive a continuous clock signal, we're not always playing the drums. And here we have a counter and because the clock ticks happen at 24 pulses per quarter note we do a modulus of 24 so we get every quarter note we will get a tick now we just need to catch our our drum sounds and send it to the deck Pilot. And we're going to need MIDI input again. Okay, let's see if it worked. In our previous patch, we also had a delay effect. So let's see if we can turn that into its own plugin. Let's copy the relevant parts. Into a new patch. We need an input. And for now we'll just sum both inputs together. Now in our DPF wrapper, we have this special receiver. That you can use to that you can use to receive an exact BPM input. That's based on the transport of your plugin host. Now, this we need to convert into milliseconds. We take 60,000 and divide that by our BPM value send that to our time division. And maybe we also want to include some dry wet volume control. So we create a new receiver. Range from zero to one. And we will initialize it to 50%. Do a little bit of smoothing for the controls and turn it into a line object. And we can replace the old number that was here. Okay, let's export. Let's call it 
heavy delay and here we need to turn it into an effect so that we don't have any MIDI inputs that might interfere with the plugin host. Let's put this on our send effect. There you go, we have a synchronized delay effect made out of our PD patch. So I hope this was useful for you to get started building your own plugins using plug data. Let us know in the comments what kind of plugins you have in mind and which subjects you want us to cover in the future. If you want to support the channel and our efforts with a heavy compiler, you can buy our plugins that were actually created using the same setup or you can become a GitHub sponsor or a Patreon member. All right, see you soon and take care.